Hey guys, welcome back to more Touch Detective 2.5 for the Nintendo DS. I'm the only Python 4 on a slice of gaming, and this game is brought to you by GameD1.com. So we can touch Friday, believe it or not, and the item has been added to the touch list. And also before we head out here, we've got something else that we can touch, and that would be this thing right here. If we can touch it here, I'm not sure. They left the water running. Yeah, we'll have to probably go back up here and touch it. At least I know there was a way to with the heck is my mouse going. Love when the laptop mice do that. You do have to touch the noodle shoot. There we go. You have to touch it at the very beginning. So those two things are done. So let's get out of here. And to complete our next report in the touch detective report. But first I want to go to the office super quick here. Ah, so warm and relaxing. Ah... Item has been added to the touch list. That's right, we're doing our touch list at the exact same time. And also, you want to touch Cromwell's bed. Another addition to the touch list that is the same from the first game. So let's get out of here for now. And go to... Let's see. The shopping plaza super quick. And go in here. Touch his chair. Even though that's kind of creepy and strange. But that's okay. And actually, there is one more thing that we do need to touch in the forest. And that is also kind of a creepy thing to touch as well, too. So we just gotta march on over back where the tough guys are. And we want to go up to... And this guy's actually name is Harrison, even though it never says his name ever. Item has been added to the touch list. Yes, we have to touch his beard or his fur or whatever. His whole body beard. I don't, I don't know. It's weird, but anyways, now that that's done and over with, let's actually continue with our touch list and investigation report. So go back to the museum and talk to Mayor Tom. Ho ho! You, rumor has it that you joined the Tough Guy Club. Is it true? Yeah, how do you know about that? Inconceivable! Why, won't, why would they let you join the club but not me? Why, how could they? I just got lucky. Ahem, so Mackenzie, is it? Let me into the secret of how you joined the club. Um, tale of woe. Tell a tale of woe, though I might be wrong. Tale of woe, huh? Very well. Gee, I can't wait to see this progress. Blast, they said my story didn't move them enough to grant me membership. What did they, what did you talk about? The pain I must endure to protect my social status. I told them how I must grovel before my social betters. But then, they said we don't look kindly to groveling in the tough guys club, boy. Confound it. Well, let's tell them something else then. Grr. We'll have to come back here. Oops, did not mean to go to the mansion. And let's go back to the museum here. Ho ho! Yes, yes, we've been through all this. Blah, 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 blah. Um, it's a secret. It's a secret. I have no idea how. How dare they treat a politician so shabbily! Confound it! Well, at least you know when you did the choice wrong that day that he says that. So we'll just kind of go through all the things here. Blah, 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 blah. Let's say Tales of Strength. Tell a tale of strength. Tale of strength, eh? Very well. Let's see how he does with the Tale of Strength. Blast, they said my strength was insufficient to join the club. What did you brag about? My excellent heritage. I explained to them how a superior member of society like me was raised. But then, they said though my heritage was tough, I myself was not. How dare they insult me so? Well, only one thing left to make him join, and that's to give him endurance, I guess. Blah, 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 blah. I like just clicking through all this stuff. Endurance. Is that right? Sure, hey? Very well. Hmm. A little while later. Let's see how this goes. 
How did it go? Ho ho, guess who's now a certified platinum member? The dues are steep, but the privileges can't be beat. What are they? I get my own platinum member only meetings. Since I'm the only platinum member, I'll always be number one. He fell for their scam. Hmm, thanks for your help. No problem. Oh well. He's in at least. Even if he's a platinum member, we'll just we'll just not tell him. What are you doing? <laughs> it's a secret for now. What are you doing? Oh nothing. Well I guess we'll come back to these two later. So let's go back to the office and talk to Cromwell. Even though we're just here. Doing other things, mind you. Excellent timing. It's as if you read my thoughts, milady. Hmm? Milady, I have an errand for you that I'd... I'd have an errand that I'd like you to run for me. Do you have a moment? Yeah, why not? Okay. Thank you very much. Now, I would like you to fetch me a hot cake. Best of luck. Got a case. Well, let's get him a hot cake. And where else can we get one other than the bakery? So let's go back to the shopping plaza again. And maybe we'll see if he... Sorry, she has got a hot cake. I want to buy something. What would you like? Um, a hot cake. I'm sorry, we don't have hot cakes here. Would a shortcake be okay instead? I'll take the shortcake. We'll see what he says. I'll have the shortcake. Here you go. Thanks. Hey, it's the same shortcake as the last case. Try some. And it's still eel-flavored. Delicious. Let's see if he'll go for this. Mmm. Eel-flavored shortcake. If not, we might have to just run to the department store. Milady, this is unmistakably a shortcake. I believe my request was for a hot cake. Could you be a dear and fetch me a hot cake? Yes, we will. Well, we might as well see where we can fetch a hot cake at. Just hold on one second. Alright, so I'm back. So let's go and do something about this shortcake. And actually, the secret to this is kind of funny. So, I, I find it kind of funny anyways. So what you want to do with this hotcake, since... Or not shortcake, or... Oh, oh my gosh. What you want to do with this lovely cake here... Cardboard box! I see. Item has been added to the touch list. Since he wants a hotcake, he will get a hotcake. Put the shortcake in the microwave. Once it's done, you have yourself a hotcake. Hey, if he wants to be picky about it, he can go get himself a hotcake. Alright, so, let's go back to the office and present him with a hotcake. Quote, unquote. Here you go, it's a hotcake. What on earth have you brought me? It's a hot shortcake. Ah, what a witty answer. I cannot deny the truth of your technicality, milady. This shall suffice. Hooray! Well then, milady, it's almost time for your snack. Don't tell me. Today your treat shall be a hot cake. I've doomed myself! <laughs> Great. Cromwell, you're a jerk. Okay, so before we go any further here... Touch the carpet! And we want to talk to Fungi, actually. What's wrong? Yes. No matter what answer, yes to Fungi. And so, you got a case. And what does he want, exactly? Well... He wants the treats. So get the box of treats and feed him. Nom 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 nom. How does it taste? So cute. The info has been added to the investigation report. Sweet. Alright, so let's get on out of here. Now that we've attended to that, let's go to the forest. And when we go to the Tranquility Hill, which I believe is up... No, wait, it's not up here. I always go the wrong direction when I want to do this. There's the tough guys. How you doing, tough guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess it is this guy. Business opportunity! Enter me this! What do we businessmen consider most important? 
Um, I would have to say... Overtime pay? Nonsense. Nothing could be more useless than overtime pay. A true businessman never puts in any overtime. Aw, damn. Can I go back and re-answer that question? Don't you think that being stuck beneath a glass ceiling is good for us? What's that supposed to mean? And of course we have to exit and re-enter the place, so... I will do that. Actually, I might as well cut that out, so just hold on. Alright, so just to save you guys all that hassle, I went in and out here. And the answer to this question is, of course, break time. Break time? Exactly! In the business world, break time is very precious. If you're not careful, break time evaporates almost instantly. Info has been added to the investigation report. Interesting, right? So, let's go out of here. And, first thing we can do is, we can touch some things at the Choco Banana Stand. My Choco Bananas are made with the finest Belgian syrup. Choose your type of stick, yeah, 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 yeah. Try out all our flavors. Just sticks? Yeah, you can only choose the sticks. First thing first, as there's major clipping issues by Chloe's hair for some strange reason, and I don't know why, we want to touch the shutters, which were over there, and you can also touch the mushrooms. Is he jealous? Item has been added to the touch list. That's kind of a cute scene, I think, right there. So let's get out of here and go to back to the condominiums. Hey, Beatrice. How's it going? Oh, hello, Mackenzie. Napping while my soaps are on is one of my hobbies. But lately I've started to care more about the storylines. Is there a way to keep myself from dozing off? Why, well, yes, yes, there is. I'll keep an eye out. Okay, I'm counting on you. I got a case. And so basically what you want to do is leave, if, if we can, that is. We need something from our room. We need this thing. The atomizer. This should work quite well, I think. And we'll go back over to the condominium. Do-do-do! Open the door. And spray. That's very refreshing! Thanks, this will definitely keep me from falling asleep. I owe you one. Info has been added to the investigation report. I know, I know, you can thank me later. So back to the shopping plaza. And first thing we want to do is go visit Connor at the old time. And we actually want to try to get behind him, behind him, Mackenzie. I want to touch something. What are you doing? I got my hands on a sort of jewelry box. But I can't figure out how to get it open. Would you like to try? Well, yes, of course. Sure. Here you go. Good luck with that. I got a case. We remember you, don't we? It's hollow. A jewelry box? How do I open it? Oh, there's a button here. When you push it, nothing happens. So let's check out this cardboard box right in the middle here. Ah, what's this? You really are a detective. You caught quite an eye. <laughs> Finally some praise. The jewelry box origi originally came inside that box. I see. It came in the same shipment as some other items. Normally, I would not, I won't accept such things, especially when most of it's junk. But trying to open that jewelry box piqued my curiosity. Ha ha ha! Can I look inside? Please be my guest. Oh hey, we know you, don't we? You're the snow machine from the first game, and also the dragon teapot. I've seen this somewhere. Yeah, we know this all too well, don't we? And this as well. Open yes. And we got my room key. I found something. Let's show it to Connor. Did you get it open? That's rather surprising. Yeah. So what was inside that thing anyway? This. A key. What do you suppose this could be for? If it was carefully... Th this carefully guarded... Could it unlock the princess's room? I think I've seen that somewhere before. Hmm. Romantic idea, isn't it? 
Oh well, never mind. Info has been added to an investigation report. Let me touch your stupid duster, damn it. I'm surprised. You're a great detective after all. Yeah, damn right I am. Let me touch your duster, damn it. Or not. Whatever. We'll come back later. Okay, the main reason that we're actually here is that we want to go in here. And if we touch the couch, it's been added to the investigation report. Or the touch list, sorry, not the investigation report. Into Naked Bones, and we want to touch the fitting room curtain, if you can get over there, Mackenzie. Mackenzie, stop. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to end this here, and we'll do some more for our investigation report when I come back, so I'll catch you guys later.